Because people like to be lazy sometimes. They'll just take care of itself. They need to know the issues, and I need to make that happen if I'm lucky enough to be the supervisor there, that mailings where somehow I can connect with the people, this is what's happening, this is what we're thinking, instead of three people making a decision for everybody and nobody knowing what's going on. So communication is, is key with everything, everything, and integrity. In my opening statement, I, I enumerated the three things that I thought were important, uh, at least the way I see them. Um, I hadn't thought much about the the, uh, the, camp, the uh, police force. I need to think about that a little more. Same way with the human relations ordinance, which I I did copy and read. It took me better part of half a day to read it. Um, I think some things need to be done with that too. I don't think that's a, a done deal right now. Uh, that needs a lot of discussion too. <clears throat> but uh, I, I guess my biggest concern is just to remind the board that there is a ward four. Um, we don't have the fancy street lights. You know, we just have the mercury lights on our corners and so on. So, you know, just little things like that. But uh, I just want to remind them that we're out there. Thank you. So, first of all, I want to go over um, some of my values uh, in my campaign. So, I believe in integrity, hard work, transparency, and accountability at all levels of government. I feel sometimes that the Borough Council does not do a good job of listening to uh, its citizens, especially the fourth ward. So I would invite community members to show up to more of the meetings and I would promote more community involvement. Uh, one of the things I would do if elected is I would establish a community-based survey and I would send it out as a mailer to the fourth ward and I would really ask, I would have a series of questions and then I would have open-ended questions and I would ask the community members, what do they want? And then I would take that data and, and those responses and I would bring it to the Borough Council. Um, so I, like I said, I believe uh, a proper representation of the voters' needs and desires for the improvement of their own community. I would support Lewisburg, uh, the continued support for Lewisburg small businesses. I believe the success of the business district in the downtown corridor is uh, crucial to the continued success of the downtown Lewisburg area. It creates a space for people for placemaking. Uh, I would work with Borough Council and community members and the fourth ward to improve infrastructure to increase walkability and placemaking in the fourth ward, and that would include sidewalks and lighting. Um, I would work with uh, Lewisburg Borough Council and community members to create a comprehensive plan to make Lewisburg a more just and sustainable Community. I know that Union County has a comprehensive plan, so I'd be, I would be looking at that comprehensive plan uh, as a um, reference and example and, and uh, see if there wasn't is one already, uh, create a comprehensive plan, plans for uh, Lewisburg. And, um, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you again to the League of Women Voters and for everyone here tonight. Thank you, Jim, for your willingness to be a candidate. Essentially, I believe the choice is between two candidates who have a very different approach and philosophy about government. I'm a fiscal conservative who believes in standing up for taxpayers and ensuring budgetary accountability. I do not support the Borough Council's idea that EBT taxpayers should be paying more for services, and I certainly do not support their foolish and costly lawsuit. I strongly support Buffalo Valley Regional Police and a very strong DBRA. I oppose the merger and I also oppose the board expansion. I am committed to keeping budgets and taxes as low as possible while delivering municipal services. I continue to fight to keep our local areas affordable place to live and families for families and retired seniors. I am proud to be part of a board that is finally bringing fiscal responsibility to our community. The current supervisors have contained costs through careful fiscal oversight resulting in the fourth year a fourth budget in a row without a tax increase. We have made local government financially sustainable and responsible. While others talk about fiscal responsibility and low taxes, the current EB2 supervisors are delivering real results. 
Jim and I differ greatly on issues facing our community. I believe in a small government, low taxes, and fiscal accountability. This common sense conservative approach is what has delivered an incredible four years without a need for a tax increase. We cannot go back to the taxes and spend policies of the past boards. This Tuesday's election will have enormous implications on the future of VBT and the entire Lewisburg area. I humbly ask for your vote. Thank you guys very much. Thank you all for participating tonight, your willingness to be candidates. Um, I've discovered this is hard work. <laughs> um, the safety, um, safety has been uh, an essential part of our community um, and in an integral um, to the growth of our community, as have recreational opportunities and our ability to, to balance the growth of the township maintain uh, a, a good balance of commercial, residential, and rural areas. On the subject of taxes, I'm not going to raise your taxes. We've been very fortunate, as I've mentioned, that East Buffalo continues to grow. We've had an increasing real estate tax base, an increasing uh, income tax base. And Mr. Murphy's correct. We're in a situation now where we can actually look at cutting taxes, which would be wonderful for the entire community. But we need to get beyond the lingering issues um, that are bogging us down. We back up. I've been uh, managing uh, large budgets for many years in my professional life. Um, I've managed complex projects, and I manage people on a day-to-day day-to-day -day basis. Once we get beyond the, the issues uh, that we're, we're struggling with, we can look to the future and do some of the things uh, that have kind of been left behind. As I mentioned, bicycle and pedestrian safety is a priority that comes up over and over as they talk to voters. And also looking at the potential to develop more public parks in the township, um, which is a, a sorely lacking. Those things will just sustain and enhance the character that has uh, made East Buffalo attractive and allowed it to continue to grow. I look forward to making that happen and hope that you'll consider voting for me on Tuesday. Candidates, thank you for participating in this event tonight. The League of Women Voters and the Voters of Union County appreciate that you came to this event and presented yourself to us.